This is Anthony coming to you live from the solar shed right now. And of course, my new inverter has come in. That's the Kotec Pure Sine Wave Inverter. And let's just check out the specs on this inverter, guys. Here we go. It's the SK1500 series inverter. And um, it puts out 1500 watts of continuous power. And it has a 3000 watt surge. So, very good. Um, it's pure sine wave output for high-end electronic equipment operation. It says built-in advanced microprocessor with user-friendly interface. Hmm, I'm not, sure, I'm not so sure about the user-friendly interface. But anyway, 50 or 60 hertz output frequency switch selectable. And um, some other features as well, as you, I'm sure you can see. But guys, I've tested this inverter out and um, it is a, indeed a very, very nice inverter. So what are my impressions on this inverter? Well, unlike some other inverters, this inverter is true to what it has claimed. Indeed, I've run some extensive tests on this inverter using a 980 watt microwave, which has a 300 surge power added to the 980 watts. And this inverter was able to handle it very well. In addition, I run my shop vac, my big daddy shop vac right there, which puts out 300 and uh, actually 1380 watts. That's 1380 watts of power. And this inverter was able to handle it very well indeed. So, looking at the inverter, just this is the back side or the front side of the inverter right here. It has the on and off switch, it has the remote switch, and it also has. Um, two regular standard size um, North America AC outputs and um, of course it has the dip switch where you can select whether you want to have it in power save mode as well as you can select the, the frequency or the Hertz in my case um, in being in America it is 60 Hertz but if you were in Europe then you would select 50 Hertz so far this inverter has performed extremely well. The battery input is indeed very impressive as well. Unlike some Chinese inverter, some cheap Chinese inverters, this inverter actually has some real good battery connections. These are actually plastic connections. So I like it, the plastic insulator, which means that you know sometimes you're joining wires together, you don't want the wires to touch each other. So I, I like the way they I've insulated the, neg um, the negative terminal and the positive terminal. This inverter also has a remote port whereby you can monitor this inverter. It also has a ground chassis um, port as well where you can actually ground the inverter. So, so far so good with just the, the look and feel of the inverter. I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing right now on this Kotec inverter. So I guess the big question is how well does it perform live? I'm sure you want to see that. So what are some of the things I like about this inverter? Well, I like the look and feel. Um, I like the fact that you can have a remote port. Um, you can turn the remote port feature on. And um, I like the way you can change the frequency. So if, for example, if I should take this inverter to, to, to Europe, for, ex for, for instance, I could switch to 50 hertz and it will work very well. So I don't have to buy a separate inverter. And um, I like the connections for the battery. And I like the fact that the power save mode works so well in that the fan does not run constantly um, unless um, you, you put an extensive load on this inverter, which I do like. One of the things that I would like to see, I wish that this inverter has the GFCI um, outlets on, on it. I wish it had that. That's a real good um, point and I think um, the newer model for this inverter does have that feature. Um, I got this inverter off an online store and um, the seller said that it was removed from new equipment. I'm not so sure what removed from new equipment really means but anyway so far it's a good inverter. So I'm going to do a live test right now of, of this inverter. I'm going to plug in my big daddy shop vac and uh, we're going to see how well this inverter performs under a load. So let's just plug it in right now and see what we have.
Okay, let's turn the power on. Let's get ready for action. Display lights. All right, guys. Well, let's keep our eyes peeled on this watt meter right here. I will just take a look and see what happens. Okay, I did forget to plug the inverter into um, the AC outlet cord in the inverter. So here we go now, guys. And the watt meter, of course, it's saying um, 120 volts. Very impressive. And the amp draw so far, and with no load, is 0.17 amps. And this is just by plugging in this big shop back right here. So 0.15 amps right now is being drawn without anything powered on and it's also joined 10 watts and of course ah uh, here we go there goes the culprit the light in my shed is on so that's that explains where the 0.15 amp is coming from that is currently being drawn from this inverter 10 watts for my light above and uh, let's look at the the Hertz. It's 59.9 Hertz, so roughly 60 Hertz. The volt is 120. So now, guys, watch this inverter. I mean, this kilowatt meter. I'm going to turn on my Big Daddy shop back right now, and we'll just watch the surge power that will take place on this um, kilowatt meter. Note that this shop vac um, is said that it should draw about 1,380 watts. Um, I found it that it did draw less watts. It didn't draw the exact 1,380 watts. But I just want to show it to you on the load and let you see for yourself. Now here goes the live test. You did see the surge, guys. Now it's topping out at about 980 watts. It's being drawn right now. So far, very impressive. So far, very impressive. The inverter is by no means complaining. So that looks pretty good for a low test using my Big Daddy shop vac. Now, We'll do a load test using my microwave. There goes the microwave. The microwave has been plugged in into the kilowatt meter. So we'll see what kind of watts this microwave is going to draw. Um, it is said that it, sh it should draw about a thousand watts or more. And I do expect to see some surge on this um, kilowatt meter when this microwave is engaged. So let's go ahead and just put in maybe a minute so that's one zero zero let's click on start I want you to actually see the kilowatt meter when I click start so here we go so 1312 watts 1291 watts 1003 is kind of fluctuating but say it's roughly about 1300 watts is being drawn right now and um, just looking at the inverter see the load level light has come on and the fan in the back has been engaged but so far the inverter is not really complaining it's handling this very well let me just go ahead and stop the microwave right now yes guys this is a highly recommended inverter I also looked at the internals and the components look very, very impressive. So there we go. This is the latest addition to my solar shed. And I look forward to many, many years of great use out of this Kotec, Kotec Pure Sine Wave Inverter. The mother number is SK1500. This is Anthony from the Solar Shed, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, 
and of course subscribe. Have a great day.